Good morning, everybody. I am here at the All-Star Sports Resort because I'm going to continue my tour. Oh gosh, I'm really shaking, I'm sorry. Because I'm going to continue my tour of the All-Star Resorts. So let's head on in and see what it looks like. As you walk into the main lobby, this one's set up very different. Um, oh, they have a foosball table. Then looks like this one. What is this? Oh, that's cool. They have a little, a little like iPad that tells you all the things. I grabbed my attention because the first one was create your own slime. But when you walk in, um, to the right is the check-in, registration, concierge and all of that. They have an awesome photo op. Look, they have a little cheerleader one where you can be the cheerleader and then they have just the picture spot. Then they also have a free Fruit Ninja game to keep the kids busy while you're checking in. And of course, just the TVs that they all have so you can watch, so the kids can watch cartoons. And it looks like they're playing the Mickey shorts. Who is that, the Jungle Cruise? Um, I've seen it at a couple of the different booths uh, inside. They have a multi-USB phone charging port. That's pretty cool. And then just past the registration and check-in to the left is um, the restrooms. They have the Sport Goofy gifts and sundries. And then down to the right, just like the other All-Star, you will have the food court on the left and the arcade on the right and head straight out to the pool. And then right next to Sport Goofies is the exit to the buses where you will head out there and that's where you'll catch all the buses to all the parks, Disney Springs. So because this is the All-Star Sports, you'll see a lot of like the ESPN merchandise here. Same as you would get at the ESPN Club. They have the hoodies and t-shirts. The hoodie is 50. And the t-shirt, this is a Champion brand. So this one is, oh, it's a, although it's Champion, it's still only 25. I like this, this is like the 80s style ESPN logo. It's $35 and it's just a baseball tee. It's regular cotton. And they also have this really nice, like a um, wick away almost material, pullover shirt. This is 55 and Lee just got one of these and I stole it from him and I love it. Oh my gosh, they did not have this. There is more to that. Oh no, this is a different Mickey line, never mind. But this is cool. This actually matches the pants, the joggers I got, except it's a lighter gray. And this is a matching hoodie K. And this one is 50. And they also have like jogging shorts uh, for 35. They have a very good selection of the ear headbands here. I'm really surprised because they have the new Briar Rose Gold, they have the new Americana ears, the Castle ears, Graduation, Jasmine, It's a Small World, the Vanellope one. Oh, I saw these in the outlet the other day. They have this Mickey ear hat, the Millennial Pink, the Birthday, the Ice Cream, the Mickey ears. This is the Rock the Dots that I like better because this doesn't have the little flippy pieces that'll fall off. Just the gold and the rainbow. I love this shirt, 1979 Hot Dog Eating Champion. It's 25, this is awesome. I just love the throwback um, merch that's coming out. Looks like they have some Wide World of Sports merch too. They have Wide World of Sports throw for 25 and it looks like it is comes in black or blue and it just has the logo. They have the Blood, Sweat, and Cheers ESPN glass tumbler for 13 and the glass, wow, this thing weighs a ton, is 15. Oh my gosh, my shadow. Oh my gosh, I am digging these like throwback ones. I love this one too. Oh, that's 
that's so awesome. Ooh, this one's really soft. I like this one the best for 25. Isn't this the same? Oh no, this is a magnet. I was gonna say, isn't this the same Donald that's in the outlets? But this is a magnet, not a clip-on. I don't think I've ever noticed these in any of the other stores for the resorts, but these are the same kind of crowns. Well, except this one is broken. Um, but these are the same kind of crowns that they use in the Bippity Boppity Boutique. And they have pink and blue, and they're $14. So if, so if you can't get to the Bippity Boppity Boutique, your child can still be a Disney princess. And it looks like they also have the light up bows here. They don't have all of them. They just have Minnie, Cinderella, and Belle here. These are cute. These are like a little present package. And on the back it says, wish you were here. So if you need to bring a present back for somebody, these are 15. And they have Minnie, and these are like for pierced ears. They have Minnie, Cinderella, Ariel, Elsa, Jasmine, and Belle. So cute. I really like this birthstone jewelry. And as I was born in September, I love this ring. I just wish it was in silver. For 20 bucks with my own little like birthstone in it. This is cute and I like this because it's adjustable. How cute are these Svarsky crystal ones with the mini ears? They're so pretty. They're like a rose gold. I like this. And these are $19.99 as well. This is so inexpensive. And they also, I love the necklace too. Oh, I don't see September though. And then they have ones that have initials. That's interesting. I don't see September. Oh, they don't have mine. They have a really good jewelry selection here. This is really cute and it has three Mickey ears and I do have three. This would be perfect for me. I have one three kids, two boys and one girl. So the silver would represent the boys and the gold would represent Keg. But it's only 30 bucks and it's actual sterling silver. I mean, like, I love, like, oh, I don't know if you can even see it. The Mickey and look at the Tinkerbell. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my god, these are adorable. Look, a different way to wear your ears. They have ear head earrings and necklace, and they also have rose gold mini ear earrings, as well as just the classic mini bows. And they have it in a necklace as well. So another thing, if you ever have packages delivered to your resort, if you see where that green sign is right there, that's where you pick up the packages that are delivered. Looks like at the main pool here, the Surfboard Bay Pool Deck, they have a daily trivia challenge at 6.30 p.m. Let's see, today is Thursday, so it's Disney movie trivia. Oh, I would be so in for that. The food court here is called End Zone Food Court, and I love how it's all, like, turf looking. It's pretty cool. Okay, one, it's really dark in here, and two, it's another very small one. I think this is smaller than music's. So... Who needs the real food? I'm going for the good stuff, the dessert. So they have some of the same ones here. So they have the edible cookie dough. They have, they call it the cheer cupcake here. Actually, that is not the cheer cup because that is not a chocolate hazelnut. That's the banana split. They have the chocolate indulgence cake, but they, some different ones. They have a cookies and cream holiday cake and it's like full Oreos. There's so much frosting on that. But look at this cheesecake strawberry cheesecake holy cow that's amazing looking and then in the second one they have a giant brownie covered in little sprinkles look at the mini ears cupcake <gasps> and they still have the stitch one now the stitch is a blue raspberry oh that was so good mm. and then a peanut butter chocolate cupcake and i love how it has like for the like mini has her own but the rest are just like an all-star themed cupcake holder I also like how they display the cups here. It's much easier to find the cup you want here. And they have a small little grab and go section where they have two coolers of alcohol. They have just the pre-made sandwiches and salads. Then just the quick little snacks like fruits parfaits and things you can eat with your fingers. They have all the drinks, all the kids meals, and then just your regular beverages, your Coke, Pepsi, Powerade stuff here. So for breakfast, they have a pancake station. That station on the far right, far right is not used at all. An omelet station, and then just like the regular bounty platter such station. They have a breakfast burger here. It's topped with bacon, cheddar, and a fried egg served with breakfast potatoes. And it looks like it's on an English muffin for the roll. Lee, I think I need to bring you back to try that. 
They also have the Grandstand Spirits, which is the bar. And with the All-Star Resorts, it's a double-sided, so you can get your drink inside or you can get your drink outside. But they have some very interesting looking drinks here. And then this is the outside of the, um, of the bar. And one thing I didn't point out inside, but I love that instead of the scoreboard, it's called the pour board. That's hysterical. So the main pool here is the surfboard and kiddie pool, and this big part is the surfboard, and right behind it where that little blue is, um, is the kiddie pool. There's like a smaller section up on the inside. It's a little easier to see here, because I don't want to go in because there's like actual guests in there. But here's the main pool, and then here's the little kiddie pool right above it. The main section when you first come out is the surf area, so it's beach themed. You see surfboards decorating, the railings look like water and fish, and it's of course the surfboard pool. Oh, I didn't see the shark fin, hold on. I gotta say, I'm glad we don't actually have sharks that are this big. I mean, this guy would give a megalodon a run for his money. So this is what I forgot to show at All Star Music. Um, right across from the main pool, you'll see the surf's up bathhouse. And right inside is where the laundry rooms are. There's also a men's and women's changing room um, slash bathroom. And it looks like they have the ping pong set up here, just like they did at the other one. I just realized the ground is a boardwalk. I mean, even though it's like cement, it's shaped to look like a boardwalk. That's so cool. And one thing you'll notice is how they are very good at placing plants to fit the theme. So like because this is the beach area, these are all like um, the type of grasses you'll see like on the sand dunes and stuff at the beach. Totally off topic, but does anybody know what kind of tree this is? Because I love this palm and I want one. And look at the stairs, they look like a lifeguard hut. That is awesome. So as you come out of the the main area, the the surfboard area, it splits into the first little rotunda where you have basketball and tennis. So we're gonna start to the right, but before we do that, I wanna check out this Mickey. So this guy here is an awesome little photo spot. There was actually a whole cheer team that was just like a little while ago um, standing here taking pictures. And it was pretty cool because they got like the whole group in there. And oh, it's hidden Mickey. Look, ear, ear and then the circle for the head. Oh, that's genius. And for here, the stairs are like the things the cheerleaders use to yell into. It's not a megaphone, I don't know what they're called. But I love how on this side, the decorations is the action of the basketball going through the hoop. That's so cool. And how with most resorts, the little decoration by the entrance is like off to the side here they kind of fill up the whole area because it's two giant whistles i really like this and it makes a great little shady spot so if you get stuck in like rain or something you can kind of huddle under here or like today the sun is brutal so you can kind of get a break from the sun here so the basketball side is called the hoops hotel and it's like it's an umpire's uniform that's cool so I'm standing at the free free throw line. I don't think I can make that basket. I feel like this isn't really fair. I don't think this is a regulation hoop. And then for the tennis side, the stairs are a tennis ball container. So unique, I love it. And here in the tennis section, you'll see the giant tennis rackets with the balls where it looks like they're hitting it. And this is set up like a giant tennis court. And you even see the decorations for the entrance is the judge's chair. But I don't think the nephews are playing the right sport here. This is not a basketball court and Donald is not happy about it. My kids always love this stuff because they would love running up and taking pictures with them. Um, these are perfect for photo ops. And this here is actual AstroTurf. So this is great for letting the kids run around in and like tumbling and playing around because it's springy. So they're not gonna get hurt as bad if they fall here. I like, I feel Donald on a personal level here. So it's 10.30 in the morning and I am loving the play of shadows. Like the sun is in the perfect spot right now for taking pictures and the inner photographer, inner photographer in me is like flipping out. Although this one is really freaky. 
What it is, is the tennis racket in the ball, but it looks like a giant eyeball. It looks like almost like one of Boo's eyeballs from Monsters, Inc. But we say this is not a giant resort, and we mean it because this, I am currently standing on All-Star Sports property, and that is All-Star Music right there. Tell me that doesn't look like two giant eyeballs. You know what that makes me think of? Always watching. Look at this little guy just chilling. I love the lizards. Here's a good contrast when I talk about the um, horticultural side, how they plant. Like these are all very like flowy, beachy, like the wind goes through real nice plants. But when you get to like the basketball and the tennis court side, because these are supposed to be the sportsy stadium type, it's just basic hedges that look like a fence. Good job, Disney. Oh, and the entrances to the pool, totally missed that for the surfboard pool. They have like starfish and shells and stuff um, embossed into the concrete. So cool. Can you see the seahorse? Oh, he's so tiny. As we come out of the beach area, we head into football territory. And since this is the football side, the stairs are, you guessed it, football sitting on tees, waiting for the kicker to come score a field goal. Or no, I don't really do sports. I guess that would be kickoff, because I don't think they use tees for field goals. And this is a very, very cool section, because they have an actual football field. And again, it's all AstroTurf, great for the kids to run around in. And they even have like a play mapped out on the ground. So cool. So this is a really cool little way to teach the kids some basics, because it actually has like where you would start and where you're supposed to finish. So if you're teaching your little one some of the basics of football, here you go. And for the entrance to the stairs and the elevators, they have giant football helmets. Although they're just plain, like this is just red and gold and this is orange and blue. I kind of wish they were like Disney themed, like maybe after a character, like, like maybe a Mickey and a Donald or something. And look at the giant Mickey at center field. This is so cool. This is interesting because I did not see this over on the other side, but they have a sign here saying, please ob observe quiet time from 10 p.m. to 9 a.m. Thank you, that's pretty cool. So guests can get some uninterrupted sleep. Look at the railings, our stands full of a crowd of people and it's all silhouettes of people. And then the lights look like stadium lights and then they have the field goal lines. It's pretty cool. I just thought these were random flags, but it's T-O-U-C-H on this one and D-O-W down exclamation point. So it spells touchdown. That is so cute. There's a dad and son actually running around playing football. This, this is exactly what this is for. And you know what's interesting is this is like a regulation field goal. Like this looks about the right size, but the basketball nets were like crazy high, so you couldn't use them. And this kind of AstroTurf area here, uh, this is where a lot of like the cheer teams will practice. So if you get here during a cheer week or a dance week, this is the kind of area with the AstroTurf where it's soft and safe. You will see them practicing. It is so much fun to watch. We enter the baseball stadium and the crowd goes wild. But I love that they have actual benches like bleachers. That's really cool. And this is the smaller quiet pool. All the way in the back, this is the baseball pool, it's called, obviously, because it's in the baseball stadium. But look, they have a little racquetball net set up. That's awesome. And like the roof of this building uh, is a, the bleachers and the stadium lights. And then they have the entrance to the actual elevators is the scoreboard and it looks like a chain link fence. That is so cool. And they just have the banners. And I like how for here, which I didn't notice at the other ones, but here they have all the major league teams. Very cool, where are my Phillies at? Wait, how do I not see the Phillies? Gotcha, these ones, cause that's the Blue Devils and Gators, so these are college, but for the baseball, they're doing major league. And I think this is called rack ball, oh, ladder ball. I guess I should actually read the thing. They have a ladder ball set up as well. So awesome. For the, if when you enter to the left, it says home team and the stairs on the right, it says visitors. That's so awesome. I found my Phillies pennant, but I had to walk like all the way down to the end of the building. Um, for the baseball section, the stairs are a big old glass of Coca-Cola. And I love that this is called the Home Run Hotel. So cool. And this pool 
has a really cool baseball goofy um, cannon fountain. That's awesome. This would be a lot of fun. This is cool. I didn't even realize the pool is set up like a baseball diamond and each corner is a base. So home plate, home plate third base, second base, and first base. That is flipping genius. And behind home plate, they have the little shower area and it has the, uh, the fence just like a baseball field would. And again, I'm all about the details because this little home run section is very small. They have an adjoining pair of stairs and it has like a bridge that connects them. That is really neat. I don't think I've ever seen this at any other one of the hotels. And I guess because of the way this is, it's like a funnel for air and it is glorious right here. But again, if you see right through there, I don't know if it'll show up there, but that red building is the entrance to All Star Music. So they are very, very close together. So there is one person that's allowed to fly over Disney property and sky paint every day. I have never seen him do a smiley face. That is perfect and it's like, it's not real windy, so it's just sitting there. It's amazing. And then on this side of the pool, they have a corn hall, and all over they have these little blow up um, baseballs so that the kids can play with them in the pool. Really neat. There is also a men's room and a women's room and a smaller guest laundry. So there is two laundry rooms at this property, which is cool. Ooh, and a water fountain, which is what I need. So this is a much smaller resort too, because as you can see, I'm back in the football baseball's just behind me and right here that's like the main building um it's a quick walk I don't know I just feel like I guess when you're tired after a long day these resorts seem like ridiculous big but they're really not and the parking's very close like the parking's right behind it like the baseball parking's literally right behind baseball so I feel like it always seemed like it was a million miles to walk to get to the room but it's really not Oh, there he is. Hi, how are you? Disney, oh my God, he looked right at me when I said it. That was awesome. Disney nature. See, when you walk down the center of the football field, you miss some of the minute details again. So the outside of the entrance to the elevators for the football and in the ground is a bunch of like ticker, ticker tape. They must have just been celebrating their big win. And thankfully, this speaker's not working, but this speaker and light um, it has the stars just like the all-star themes. So I, I just love the little details. So maybe these are just lights, but it's so cool. That's really neat. Because this is a beach theme, they have like beach chairs all over the place. And these are the sustainable like recycled plastic ones. I really like these ones. Since I'm going to be at the resorts a lot more often, I had asked them if I got one of the rapid fill mugs, how long are they good for since I'm not staying on property? Because normally it's for your resort stay. But for $18.99, it's active for 14 days. So you get two weeks. I think I might get one because that's like a great deal. And if I'm heading into the parks, like I always hop on the resort monorail anyway, so I can always hop off at a resort and refill it. Oh, yes. I get unlimited refills until May 30th. That's pretty awesome. They have a fuel rod charger, so if you need to exchange your fuel rods, you can do it right here. But let's head in and check out the arcade now. Oh wow, there's like an actual table and chairs in here. Oh wow, there's multiple tables and chairs. It's a, this is, I kind of like the setup of this one. It, I feel like Jablinski Games. What's Jablin' Jables? Because I'm a pinball girl and this is a really cool looking pinball machine. So this is about the same size as the one over in game-wise, at the same amount of games as the one over in music, but it's a much larger area, so there's a lot more space to move around. And this is pretty much the Instagram wall for the All-Star Sports. Um, you'll see lots of Instagram pictures in front of this wall. All right, and since we've spent plenty of time inside the resort, now let's head out as if we were gonna take a bus to a park. And then you come out to where all the buses drop off. So there's the airline check-in and Magical Express. And then you just have, oh, this is gonna be horrible with dust. I'm gonna apologize now. All the buses for all the parks. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for me here at the All-Star Sports Resort. Uh, if you like these adventures, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when new videos are coming. Thank you so much for watching. And now we're on to the next adventure. Bye guys. 
My car's not distinguishable anymore, so I keep losing it in the parking lots. 